Hey Shook, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the Daily Collective reading for Saturday, March 19th. This is the Daily Collective for Saturday, March 19th. So we had the full moon in Virgo yesterday. How you guys feel? <laughs> how you feel? Let me know. Comment below and tell me like how you feeling energetically. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> see. For the Collective, Saturday, March 19th. What do we have for the Collective? Okay. <laughs> we just had this card. We had this card this week, but it's surrender to the divine. Okay. Full moon energy. Mm -hmm. Have faith in your dreams on the bottom. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So, this card says this. The very word climax brings all sorts of ideas and images to mind. Agreed? <laughs> but it really is the feeling of this card. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some kind of change and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. Tune into your emotions now and see what they're telling you. They're very likely close to the surface. No matter when the moon cycle you've pulled this card, matters will soon conclude and you'll find out whether or not your wishes are going to come true. The odds are in your favor, as this is a positive card. But you may need to work harder than usual to keep cool as events unfold. Okay? Yeah. So let's see what is this about, okay? So definitely some changes are happening for you here. All right, it's going to go in your favor, okay? So just surrender to the divine, flow with it, flow with it. Why is surrender to the divine here for the collective on Saturday? Surrender to the divine for the collective. Okay, it's a climax, something coming to a head. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have receptive, okay, open heart, softness, vulnerability, okay, and lust, intensity, sexual energy, non committal. Okay, with the bottom running, ghosting, disappearing, invisible. Okay, so this is someone that might be um, receptive, more receptive, okay, maybe willing to be more vulnerable, okay. It did say that, you know, emotions can be running on high right now. It said tap into your emotions to see how you feel about a situation, okay, yeah. Let's see. Why is serenity to the divine here for the collective? Okay. I do feel like someone's more um, receptive to something at this point. Why is serenity to the divine here? Maybe because of the intensity of the situation with the lust card here. Serenity to the divine. Ace of Cups. All right. And the Harpin. Okay. So with the Ace of Cups here, this is having a new beginning and love, okay? Um, a new path, a new doorway, a new opportunity, okay? Yeah. Someone may be walking away from a commitment, okay? Um, maybe worried about if it's the right thing to do with the Seven of Cups and Justice here, okay? Why is Surrender to the Divine here for the Collective? Power. Okay, this is a sudden change. Okay, with that King of Wands on the bottom. 
okay? This is the king of action, okay, with the two of cups and the three of pentacles. This is someone that is suddenly making a change, okay? Um, maybe even taking action to initiate a partnership, okay? Um, a union, okay? With the three of pentacles here, this is like, you know, working together, collaborating, um, compromising, okay? We have the devil energy and the two of pentacles, okay? So someone could have been going back and forth, um, juggling two situations, okay? Juggling two ideas, two paths, okay? Um, maybe because of some type of like unhealthy attachment or addictions, okay? It could be sexual addictions here with the less card, okay? Yeah. The nine of pentacles is about independence, Okay, it's like suddenly someone is independent, suddenly someone um, is more receptive to being independent, okay? Because with the magician here, this is manifesting independence, but avoiding making a decision, okay? Um, not making a decision, keeping a situation stuck here with the hangman. Why is surrender to the divine here? I feel like that's why spirit is saying surrender to the divine, because someone is manifesting or was manifesting and... Um, like avoiding it. It's like, you know, you're asking for a new car and then when a new car comes around, like, no, nah, I don't want that. What do you mean? You asked for a new car, right? <laughs> but the Ten of Pentacles here, this is about long term. This is ultimate achievement, but it's the long term. It's the long term in money, it's long term in stability, and long term in finances. Okay. Yeah. This is legacy. Okay, with the Eight of Wands here and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. This is moving forward with someone that you see is very stable, okay? But with the Five of Swords energy, someone wasn't wasn't sure about making that investment, okay? Yeah. Anything else for surrender to the divine? Maybe because of their own independence, okay? Yeah. Because they've been here before, okay? Ten of Swords is betrayal, Okay. So with the seven of pentacles here, it's like someone that put in the, you know, in the investment, sowed seeds, okay, and was betrayed here with the painful ending card, okay? It could have happened suddenly too with the tower energy, yeah. So that made someone very guarded here with the nine of wands, okay? Yeah. Maybe even running here with the running card, okay? Yeah. So... Have faith in your dreams is on the bottom of the deck. Spirit is saying, surrender to the divine. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. And it says this. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now... It's just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. However, the Waxing Crescent Moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want. If you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about your best next step. Overall, this card suggests there is every reason to be hopeful for a positive outcome in the situation you're asking about. So keep the faith, okay? So it's like, it's not over yet, okay? Have faith in your dreams, okay? Let's see why. Why is have faith in your dreams here for the collective? Okay. Have faith, in, have faith in your dreams. Okay. The spiritual connection card came out. Okay. With projection. Okay. So there could have been a spiritual connection here, a deep love, a unity. Okay. Where there might have been a rejection or a loss. Okay. Have faith in your dreams. Maybe someone desire to have like a deep connection with someone okay or a deep connection in their life you know like that you know happily ever after story okay yeah we have tension turbulence argument stress 
Okay, yeah. Upheaval, shock, the unexpected, trouble. Okay. Yeah, so this is, yeah, with unconditional on the bottom. Innocence, support, whole heart. Okay, yeah. This is like, you know, if there was that, if there's like turbulence in a connection um, that you feel like, you know, you have a deep love of someone, okay, where there's like tension or stress, okay, um, or trouble. Okay, spirit is like, it's not over yet. Okay, just relax. This is your dream. If this is what you want, have faith in it. Okay, keep going for it. Don't stop. Let's see. Why is have faith in your dreams here for the collective? King of Pentacles. Okay. The responsible king. He's the father figure. He's holding a baby. He's stable. He's grounded. Okay. Um, this king was moving very slowly and making change and holding back from change. Okay. Yeah. But we see now someone's more receptive. Okay. Definitely moving slow and definitely holding back. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles on the bottom and the Will of Fortune. Unsure about change. I don't know if I, if I should do that. I don't know if that's what's right for me, right? Why is half faith in your dreams here for the collective? So, yeah, this person held back, okay, moved very slowly and held back, okay, from change, okay, with this page of wands, this is communicating what you want, okay, communicating what your desires are, the page of wands energy, your curiosity, okay, with the magician card here, this is something that someone was, has manifested or is trying to create um, their dream here with the star energy, okay, so with the Ten of Wands, it's like burdened down with maybe like interference, difficulties, things that are like keeping something from happening. Okay, this is like seeing so many obstacles, uh, interferences, um, Overburdened, overwhelmed even, okay? And with the High Priestess energy here and the Six of Wands, um, this is like, even though your intuition is telling you, oh, something would be great, something would be great, this is good for you. Um, someone was doubting it, okay? Um, and just seeing all of how difficult it would have been, okay? So they held back from communicating what it was that they desired, okay? But someone's more receptive. Is a change. So that's what I have for you, should. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I miss you guys already. Happy Saturday. Bye.